So this is the trade that I took. It's just to show you how I scalp the, the DAX and that's on the one minute chart. I am no name trader and this is uh, scalping the DAX. Trade at your own risk. I'm just gonna show you how I make money and and there's no guarantee, guarantee that you will make uh, money the same way. So I entered uh, on this, this is the one minute chart and I entered on the uh, bull doji, uh, ended up closing a bull doji and uh, now we are getting some follow through on this trade. Why did I enter? Well it's a breakout pullback and there's a magnet above uh, where there is some resistance. So I'm betting that we are at least going to get a test of the high uh, of this most recent uh, push up. We had a three push pattern and now we had a small correction and now we're getting a, a retest of those highs and I'm fairly quick to move my stop to break even as you see because um, I'm in uh, from 13,115 and now we're up 10 points and I am looking for a scalp. If I didn't uh, exit the scalp already then I missed out because uh, the first scalp on this trade right here that's 10 points and uh, then the stop uh, uh, goes to break even and now it looks like that I'm gonna get uh, a test of my uh, stop loss area my entry area and I know for a fact because I know how this trade ended, ended that we are gonna get we're gonna get uh, saved right here by some buyers that, that are gonna come in on the close of the bar that's forming so but I'm considering if I move my stop a bit too early uh, usually I don't move it before I get the initial scalp but uh, in this case we are trading into uh, a resistance area so I'm a bit more cautious there is still a nice uh, probability that this will uh, bounce up higher and it did already but uh, just just in case uh, then I'm gonna move my stuff up uh, fairly quick so that bar turned out to be an inside bull bar uh, quite a nice bar now we're making new highs and I took off uh, a small position uh, for a scalp and I got out just at the open of that one minute bar that's forming right now and so now I've got profits of the initial scalp. I've got my stop at break even. So uh, just like uh, uh, two minutes into this trade, it's already a, a winner and a nice trade. You can't expect to get 100 points on every trade. I get 100 points on trades occasionally. And I, I just love the feeling of, of the 100 points, but this is more uh, typical that you just get a scalp and then you get stopped out at break even. In this trade right here, I get two scalps. Look at this, this is strong bullish movement right here, and that's why I dare to take the long into resistance. This um, this is the 15 minute chart and look at that in the past uh, like six or seven bars you only had one bear bar so this reversal attempt probably is gonna gonna get at least a push more to the upside before it goes down but look to the left as well we are at the highs of a trading range so you're gonna look to potentially gonna look to sell at these areas instead but uh, momentum is up and this is a momentum trade this is a scalp we had a breakout pullback and we did have some lows on the minor trading range to the left in the chart so this is what we are going up against I wouldn't recommend recommend this trade for uh, beginning uh, traders this is more like a uh, but a bit more advanced momentum trading you have to to know the patterns you have to know the tendencies of the, the day uh, so this is also uh, you can see the bottom formation on this uh, it's like a, a, a round formation like a head and shoulders pattern and you've got some neckline going on in there at about 13,000 which we are moving away from and that uh, has a target that's a bit higher than where price is right now so and right now the, the screen froze if your screen freezes if you lose, lose connection you need to have a plan b i have plan b c and d and you want to have another way to access the internet if your uh, connection fails i have a um, um, 
mobile data connection I can hook up to and then I have my phone and it has a separate uh, carrier so I'm, I'm offset with two different carriers and uh, a mobile Wi-Fi point and a uh, uh, fixed uh, landline internet connection and uh, last option call your broker and have them uh, close the trade or put in stops or whatever you want so just have a plan ready I have a phone the phone number for my broker uh, right beside my screen if something happens I can call them as a last resort and right now uh, what is what's going on is we had another pullback and we have actually we have a micro double bottom with the initial pullback and the second pullback right here so uh, this is like a, a third push up in uh, a three push pattern uh, that's uh, an ascending wedge if we get a higher high and we are into a bit of resistance right now and that is well it's to be expected when going for a goal you're gonna have to expect that resistance minor resistance gets broken once in a while and here I'm betting that we're gonna get another reach at the highs I was in from 15 so up about 20 points right now and I think this is where I took off my second scalp at this high right here you see it has a long uh, wick uh, or tail above the the previous bound this 15 minute chart so uh, this would be an obvious place to take off some uh, more profits and I think that's what just happened so you want to you want to take your profits at obvious places if you're going to wait for it to 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 get back and, and hit your stop every time then you're going to get then you're gonna get uh, well you're not gonna get as much money as if you just make sure to take some uh, profits when the markets make it available to you especially when trading these more uh, aggressive trades aggressive scalps and that's where I took uh, the second scalp so now we've got two scalps in the book. I think we got 13 points on the on the first scalp, and we got 20 points on the second scalp. So that's an uh, for me a nice trade, pretty pretty high probability. Uh, risk reward was okay uh, com combined with the probability, and uh, then I'm just gonna set a uh, really aggressive uh, limit order in, and uh, then I can leave the computer and do other stuff while this trade is going on so it's all about well for me it's all about not not sitting at the screen too long i tend to make mistakes if i stay at the screen and uh, actively trade uh, during uh, the entire session so uh, getting into a trade getting the initial scalps out of it and uh, then just managing it uh, by well, it depends on how it how it goes, uh, how it turns out, how it plays out. In, in this case, bring in an aggressive uh, limit order for taking profit and uh, a stop at break even. If if this starts to take off in my uh, direction, uh, then potentially you could you could you could add on and you could. Uh, trail your stop and stuff like that that's of course that's what's gonna happen but uh, sometimes I just put in the limit order put in the stop and then I uh, just come back and occasionally check the computer and see what uh, what's been going on you can also put in alert lines so you have been alerted when the price exceeded a point where you want to to move your stop uh, you can also on this platform at least to uh, trail your stop with like 20 points or whatever uh, amount number of points you want to trail it by so right now you see was an obvious place to take profits uh, at the prior highs into resistance and i got stopped up this is how the rest of the trade uh, played out as you see we had uh, an even deeper pullback uh, on this chart right here there were a nice uh, sell uh, bar but it was above the the resistance area so and into 
uh, a day that had been uh, really aggressive from the bull side. So I wasn't looking to sell. You could have sold on the second uh, or, or third signal that, that came. Uh, the two lower highs, you could have sold on, on either of those. Uh, but once again, careful not to get carried away with the when and getting into the the pit of of over trading. Uh, I like this trade, uh, a bit aggressive. It was a breakout pullback to this. You see the green line, that's uh, support and resistance area. So that was uh, where I entered uh, and uh, took some profits uh, a bit. At 13 points and a bit of the double top which was uh, 20 points and got stopped out after uh, the price turned down so that's it for this uh, quick scalp right here about uh, nine minutes from uh, entry to exit and that's uh, that's just some some quick profits on our usual uh, morning in the DAX Remember to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell button to get notified when I upload new uh, content. I'm going to do that once in a while. I also plan on getting some some tutorials in how to read and uh, how to read your patterns and how to to count legs and in price action trading and stuff like that. Um, how long do you usually stay in a trade? Do you have like stats for? For keeping track of your trades, to uh, to to keep a spreadsheet of of your trades, of duration, how many points you you made, how many points you lost, what's your average uh, win percentage, what's your average point gain or point loss. Uh, uh, how do, how do you do that? Uh, write it in the comments. Uh, I'd love to hear. I like to get inspired by other traders and uh, maybe together we can uh, level up in this trading business. I am no name trader, go make some money.